We seek your kingdom first. We hunger and we thirst. Refuse to waste our lives for your own joy and prize. To see the captive hearts release, the hurt, the sick, the poor in peace. We lay down our lives for heaven's cause. Cause we are your church and we pray revive this earth and build your kingdom here let the darkness fear show your mighty hand heal our streets and land set your church on fire when this nation back Build your kingdom here. This takes me uh, to Matthew chapter 6, where Jesus is preaching uh, possibly the longest sermon ever recorded. It's the Sermon on the Mount. And in Matthew chapter 6, um, Jesus says this to the, to the crowds that are around him, his followers and his disciples, and he, he, he's teaching them how to pray in Matthew chapter 6. And he says this in verse 9, pray like this, our Father in heaven, May your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, I've read the, the Lord's Prayer and I've read this scripture uh, probably hundreds of times, if not more. And, and at, you know, I've skimmed over this. And it hasn't been until recently that I've really settled in on what I believe verse 10 is asking us as believers and what Jesus was asking them to do when he was preaching the Sermon on the Mount. And it's simply this, pray your kingdom come, your will be done, Christ's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so many times I find myself living so that someday I will experience heaven instead of living to bring the realities of heaven to this earth now. Imagine as if Christ followers, we pray God's kingdom come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Imagine if we not only pray his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, but we act his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Imagine how our, our communities would be impacted and changed. Imagine how our conversations would be different and grace-filled and filled with mercy and civility. Uh, especially with the polarizing political world around us and the conversation around racism and injustices. Imagine if we pray and act God's kingdom on this earth. Imagine if we live out the realities of heaven here the best that we can as Christ followers. And what an impact that would make in our world. Father, I pray you would give us the boldness and the courage to bring your kingdom here, to not only live as if, to not only live 
to experience heaven when we cross from this earth into, into eternity, but to live to experience a piece of heaven here on this earth, to impact the world around us in a positive way, and to bring your kingdom here, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.